of God. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. He's going to show us what he wrote to us. For this is the last time I called on the Lord and he gave me my testimony to testify before all the children, the children of God. Yes, you are a child of God. You're not a color. You're not a nationality. You are a child of God. Oh, Grandfather God, the only Father, you gave to us our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who created everything. For it is written, Jesus created everything. The children do not believe that thy son is the father, is the son, is the Holy Spirit. And I read to them, when you pray, you pray, our father, which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And last week I prayed unto thy Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he is our Father, who art in heaven, and that is written in another book, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, deliver us from evil, for thy is the power, the glory, and thy is the kingdom also. For I wanted to show all the children my sincerity and my knowledge of the holy, the holy book. Please forgive my long prayers. For my daughter told me she do not believe in you when I told her you are head of my family. Lord, I really need you. Get this world for me, please. I read you give them no more than they can bear. Then give them all the bear that you can give them. Show them that the truth will make us free and I'm going to read it to them so they will know that you are God. My God Almighty, please get this world for me. You hear my prayer? I pray unto the God that sits alone, our only Father God. I thought people knew that God was going to do what is written, but it seems like nobody knows. And nobody cares. But they pray to him. But I read to you what he said about us. This is Open Your Eyes, Part 7. What our Lord and Savior said when he came here. And what is written. Welcome, children of God, St. Matthew, the 13th chapter, the 37th through the 39th verse. He answered and said unto them, 
he that sowed the good seed is the son of man. 38th chapter. The field is the world. The good seeds are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one. 39th verse. The enemy that sold them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. This word, this world is but a field that we live in. The Son of Man is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our Father. We are the children of the kingdom. We are the children of the kingdom. I read to you about the wicked ones and how to know them by their mouth. The wicked is the enemy and the devil sold them who believe our Lord God's word. Open your eyes. This parable will go all over the world for a witness unto every nation. This is the beginning of sorrow, children. I told you by 2024, he's going to get everybody attention because y'all say that there is a God and there is. I called on St. Matthew, the 13th chapter. The 37th verse, I had nothing to look up. He make it plain to you who he is. God make it plain. Our God, Lord, make it plain to us. I'll read it again. He answered and said unto them, He that sowed the good seed is the son of man. The 38th chapter have quite a few lookups. St. Matthew, the 13th chapter. St. Matthew, the 38th chapter has in it the world. Copy, it has on it. St. Mark, the 16th chapter, the 15th. And the twentieth verse. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. The twentieth verse. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, and confirmed the word with signs following. Amen. Unbelief is the most insulting sin to our God. St. Mark, the chapter 3, I mean chapter 16, Jesus Christ, angels declare the resurrection of him, getting up. Of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Christ appeared to Magdalene, Mary. The Lord upbraided them with their unbelief and the hardness of their heart because they believed not them which had seen him after he risen. Read for yourself. Open your eyes. The 38th chapter, the world. Colossians. Colossians. The first chapter, the sixth verse. 
which is come unto you, as it is in all the world, and bring forth fruit, as it do also in you. Since the day you heard of it, and knew the grace of God in truth. My kids don't even understand that I called on the Lord because of them. I called on the Lord because of all, every last one of my friends. I called on the Lord for this world because they say they know God. They say they read about God. But they don't know what he hates. Yea, six things the Lord hates. The seventh is abomination unto him. It is written. Paul. An apostle of Jesus Christ, thank God for their faith. In Colossians, the first chapter, the 16th verse, for by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, visible, invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities, or power, all things created by him and for him. So if you think this world is yours, if you think you are yours, you're not even yourself. God gave you that. He can take it away from you. All he asks of us is to do right or to do wrong. What are you going to do? Open your eyes. Open your eyes. All things were created by Jesus Christ. I read that to you. Thank our Lord only, Father God our grandfather God. That's what they did. They thank God for giving them faith. And I read to you what faith is. The substance of things hoped for. The evidence. Take a breath. <sighs> He's the very breath you breathe. Consistency. I had to look it up because in that chapter, it has about consistency. The quality of being faithful and dependable. The quality of being enduring and unchanging. And I'm hoping that that will stay with me. Because I told you that there is a God that you say you believe in. I had a young lady, she said, why don't you pray for, for the people that getting bombed, they doing the things over there. I pray for everybody. What make anybody so perfect that they are the only one to need to be prayed for. This world, it is written until we all come into the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God. Who is the Son of God? Knowledge of the holy will give you understanding. Do you know our God is the true and living word? Are you taught that? Well, listen to what is written. I'm not trying to teach you anything, even though that's what is written. 
So I hope if I am teaching you, you're learning something. The 38th verse. The children, the children of St. Matthew, the 8th chapter, the 12th verse. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gashing of teeth. Our Lord God, in chapter 8, our Lord God healed a century man, the servant, healed the century servant, and said, God said to him, I have not found no great faith. No, not in Israel. Our Lord God, Jesus, healed Peter, wife, mother, that was laid sick of a fever. Our Lord God, Jesus, entered into a ship. And behold, there rose a great tempest in the sea, and the waves covered the ship. The disciple woke Jesus up because the disciple said, Save us! We are perish. St. Matthew, the 8th chapter, the 26th verse. And this is what Jesus said to them. And he said unto them, Why ye fearful? Ye of little faith? Then he rose and rebuked the wind and the sea. And there was a great calm. All the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this? Even the wind, see, obey him. We read God's word. We obey him by doing what he delights. Do you know what we're doing? By me reading to you and you coming to run all God's children.com, we're reading God's word and we're doing what he delights. The 38th verse again, the children of St. Matthew, the 13th chapter, the 43rd verse. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. Do you understand what you hear? It is written. No interpretation. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. He promised that he's going away to create everything new. Don't you want to go where it's new, where there's no hatred, nobody talking about color? Nobody's saying to you that there's not a God. And I told my daughter when she told me that, well, I don't care what you think. You want to tell me how much you love me and call me a lie. And then you tell me, no, I'm not calling you no lie. I looked it up. And man, don't you know I read to everybody, if you trust in man, you are cursed. Well, let me tell you something. I told my daughters, and I told them this all the way growing up, and even when I got the book, I can't trust myself. I got to trust God. I ain't going to put my trust in myself. Because I come short of glory. Who cares about God? Open your eyes. 
in chapter 13 is parables. He give you parables, but he tell you about them. So we will know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven. That's what it's for. I learned that the tares are the children of the wicked one. I learned they shall gather out the kingdom. They be gathered out of the kingdom. And there shall be welling and gashing of teeth. Our Lord God will make the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Don't it make you happy that we got a kingdom coming? We so caught up into this world and you calling God a lie when you divide yourself from one another. Who is a child of God? Who want to show that they are a child of God? They want to be boastful about being a nationality and where they come from. You come from the wound of your mama that you that your our God create us. For we are his. I read to you what he made and what he is God of. In the 38th, the end of St. Matthew, the 13th chapter, the 40th and the 49th verse. The 40th verse. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in fire, so shall be the end of this world. He's going to take it away from us. All the evil. Everything has been tricking God's children. Yeah, you've been tricked. So shall it be. This is the 49th verse. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angel shall come forth and serve the wicked from among the just. Are you just? I come short of glory. That's why I called on God. All my life I heard God in the, in the house of prayer. I heard him preaching in the house of prayer. And I went to different denominations and all of them talked about our God. Oh, children of God, do right or do wrong before our Lord God and the only Father God. Now the children will know the truth. I will read and our Lord God will show us. I called on our Lord God and only Father God. Because of this world. You don't mess with my family and my friends and think there's nobody to call on them. Well, I called on them. And I showed you. I received the word. Words. Nothing but words. But the true and living word, the one that can stop all this mess. I read, our Lord God will show us. I called on our Lord God and the only Father God because of this world. <coughs> Excuse me. Who believed our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, created everything. Who believe our Lord God's word? Open your eyes. 
in the 38th chapter still have the end of to look up. St. Matthew, the 24th chapter, the third verse. And as he sat upon Mount Olive, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of the coming, of thy coming, and of the end of the world? Yes, he's going to come. He's coming back for us. And if he's not coming back for you, he's coming back for me. Because I called on him. And he gave me my testimony. And I'm reading it to you right now. This is how the world will be. It's going to end. At the end. Our Lord God make it plain about us being the son of man. His seeds. That's what we are. His seed. Who told us we don't understand God's word? Read for yourself. Read, run, and learn about our Lord and Savior what has happened, and what he is going to do. The end of St. Matthew, the 28th chapter, the 20th verse, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have command you. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Amen. That's written. When I received my testimony, I have been trying to find someone with knowledge of the holy. Forty years. Now I've retired. Our God let me read his word and learn of him and run in the race for the prize in the holy book to share with all God's children. In chapter 28, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, got up and came back to teach them to teach us. Yes, he got up, they they call itself killing God. You can't kill something that won't die. He came back to teach them to teach us. He said, tell throughout all generations. It's written. Throughout all generations are supposed to know what God asked of us. But don't worry. He letting you do what you do. Like my daughter, I told her, I said, don't you know you read men's stuff about men's stuff and they dividing you from God. But if you that silly to believe man, then I feel sorry for you. But hey, it's better you than me because I called on them. And you are my daughter and you don't believe me? You just like this world. My friends don't even believe me. But when he do what he want to do, yes, you'll believe then. Because you don't believe me, believe him. For he cried. Because he said, and I read to you, he that come don't believe me, but he believe on the one that sent me. And I told you, my belief is the only father sent his only son to us. And they killed him. At least they thought they did. 
but it was to show us, don't threat, don't worry about this world. He's been taking care of you. You got a roof over your head. You got a car to drive in. You got shoes on your feet. You got money in the bank and you still can't help nobody. In chapter 28, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, got up, came back to teach them to teach us. To observe all things whatsoever he command them. Now I ask you, are you taught to observe? And if you are, is it of men or of our Lord and Savior? And what do you observe? Where is the watchman that's supposed to be watching? And what are they watching for? In 38, the end of what I am talking to you is going to go all over the world for I am going to tell this world what is written. Hebrew the ninth chapter, the 26th verse. For then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world. But now, once in the end of the world, he have appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. He's coming back. And that's a fact. And he's coming back for me, if not for you, but it's written for all his children. Are you a child of God? This is what we can look forward to. Our Lord God to appear and show us the promise. He said, we are his children. And he said, you are my children. And I will be a father unto you. You already claim that the only father is your father then why would he say to you, he promised he will be a father unto you? I learned about Jesus creating everything when I was on WABQ. Yeah, I've been on the radio. I was on there for 10 years with Mr. Denver Wilborn. And I told him, Jesus created everything that make him our father God. Now, our Lord God Almighty coming back to show us the sacrifice of himself that he showed unto his disciples and his mother and all the people back then. We will have privilege to see him come back, to take back what is his. If the house of prayer is his, you that are head of God's house, then you need to really act like it. Yea, children of God, I know who I called on. The 38th chapter, the end again. I looked it up. Daniel, the 12th chapter, the 13th verse. But go thou thy way until the end be, and thou shalt rest 
and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. So we got lots. There's so many things that I haven't been taught in God's house of prayer and preached to that I didn't know there was lots. I knew that all through the book is a child of God. His children, trying to convince them that he is God. And then when they cried and called on him, he, as nice as he is, and caring as a daddy, as a father, the only father of us, because we have a grandfather, his father. But I'm making it plain to you the way things are. Most of Daniel the first to the 12th chapter is about the ending of the world. Daniel, the 12th chapter, the 10th verse. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Are you wise? Well, he's going to give this world wisdom. The end of the world in 39. The end of in the 39th verse. Joel, the third chapter, the 13th verse. Put ye in the sickle, thy sickle. For the harvest is ripe. Come. Get you down, for the press is full, the fats overflow, and their wickedness is great. That's the end. He's going to come and put them in the press. Fire, remember fire that dieth not, worms that dieth not. That's what they're going to, eternity, hell. Joel 3, the third chapter, is about God's judgment against the enemy of his people. In chapter 2 is the promise of the Holy Spirit. The book of Joel is what is going to happen at the end. God's judgment. 39th chapter. The end of, again, the revelation. The 14th chapter, the 15th verse. And another angel came down out of the temple, crying. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud. You know, Jesus is going to ride in on the cloud. In another book, it said Jesus is going to ride in on the dust of his feet. Thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come to thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. He explained to you what he's going to reap, the earth, for it's right. When knowledge go all over this world, it's going to be okay. It's going to be right. Extort. I read that to you one time. E-X-H-O-R-T. Strongly urge someone to do something. Urge. Try earnestly, persistent, to persuade someone, in parentheses, to do something. Command or advocate something strongly, 
encourage a person or animal, that's in parentheses, to move more quickly or in a particular direction. I earnestly to all God's children learn Learn about our Lord God. Don't take nobody word. You don't, don't take mine. Read God's word. My daughter told me she read. I read it and I know God. I said, did you know that if you trust in man that you are cursed? Did you know that God is preparing a place for us. Everything new, not made of man's hands. Do you know there's fire and worms that evil is going to go to? But everybody wants to sit in judgment of God. I'm sorry I'm going a little longer on this. But I told my daughter that I was going to tell everybody, my daughter don't believe God because of the way she was taught. Well, let me tell you this, young folks. I'm 71. And if you think I'm lying on God, may he have mercy on your soul because I don't give a damn. I'm telling you the truth so I can be saved. Job couldn't save his children. Daniel couldn't save his. And, and someone else I can't remember. You can only save yourself. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. And he is going to show us what I'm reading to you. And his words is going to go all over the world again. And this is the last time. Welcome, children of God, to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is to teach. And may God bless us. It's going to get awful bad, I told you. By 2024, he's going to have your attention. Because the only father, his father, the one y'all call God, y'all God. I call him my grandfather. He's grand. He gave his only begotten son. And you will too, because that is the truth. Jesus created everything. May God be with you. Take care of yourself.